and welcome to my channel. We're back with another Vlogmas video. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing an unboxing and a testing of the Dior limited edition gold lip gloss. I actually went to the Travis Center recently. I did a full vlog on it if you want to check it out. And I looked everywhere. I looked in Boots. I looked in John Lewis. I looked in Selfridges to find this lip gloss because I saw it went completely viral on TikTok. So obviously I went to find it too late and they didn't have it anywhere. So anyway, I looked online and they had it on the Dior website. I also looked on Boots and stuff to see if like I could get it like slightly discounted, but I could only find it on the Dior website. So I bought it from there. It was £30, which was quite a lot for a lipstick but from the video I saw it looked amazing so I did it um it was free shipping so that's fine and I got a couple free samples so I'm just gonna show you what's in the box and then I'm gonna test on the lipstick today so this is the box I did get the eco-friendly option because I thought it would be cheaper and it was just free delivery um to be honest even though it's like the eco-friendly version it's very nice so it's just like a cardboard box there's Dior on it you also get a little like pouch so this is what comes with it. it's quite good quality this and this has a couple free samples in it and then the lip gloss is here and then in here look how cool this is so like i don't even know like the packaging it all says like dior all over it i think that looks so cool like i think you could just give this like as like obviously not just this as a gift but i think you could leave it in this for like a christmas present or whatever because it says like oh if you're like gifting it you might want to do the other one but i definitely think this is okay obviously the outside of the box is just like a cardboard delivery box which is like a bit boring but like to be honest i don't think it's that bad considering it was free um oh i also have a little envelope i did not see this we have an envelope. Um, I wonder what it's going to say. I presume it's just going to say what I've ordered, but doesn't that look fancy? It looks like I'm, I'm reading an award out. Dior. Yes, so that is just my confirmation. Um, but yeah, you get a little envelope as well. I presume if you could put like a gift message, that would be like there as well. But yeah, this is just my um, confirmation. So nothing exciting. There's the box. If you're wondering what the eco-friendly version looks like, it's that, which is pretty good. Okay, free samples. Let's look at the free samples first. Um, so these are the free samples. You could pick, um, there was four and they were all perfumes. So I just picked the two that were like lady ones, or at least I thought were lady ones. Um, now I'm questioning it. Questioning it. Um, so we've got this um, and we've also got the Miss Dior one as well. Um, so that's what the sample looks like. Just a pretty basic perfume sample, uh, very tiny as always. Uh, but these are what the two look like. Um, yeah, I feel like I did not pick the right one for me. Dior Harm Sport. I feel like that's... A, it could be, it could be um, unisex, but it doesn't give me... I like a very feminine perfume, so... I don't want to spray it on me. Mm, I'm going to I'm gonna test it on here, because I'm like, I don't want to spray this on me, but I do not like the smell, and then I have to smell it all day. Is it going to... Is it going to spray? Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. That just dropped. It didn't even, like, spray. To be honest, it's not bad. I definitely think it's more of, like, a manly, masculine fragrance. But it's not bad. To be honest, it's quite good. I wouldn't wear it myself. But it is actually quite... I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. It does smell nice. Just not... Yeah, that just... That smells quite nice. I'll give it its due. I'll give it its due. It smells good. This one I think I will like a bit more. This one seems a bit more feminine. This is Miss Dior. You, you, I think you've probably seen that advert for this like everywhere because it's got a very recognisable bottle. Let's spray this one as well. These do not want to... Oh, I got it on my finger. Can I spray a bit more? There we go. That was lovely. Did you see it? Just kind of like... Did not spray properly. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Do you want to sniff? There you go. <laughs> That's quite nice. I was like, you know what? They're quite nice. I am looking for like a new perfume because I want like a signature scent. Um, so I'm hoping I'll find mine soon, maybe one day. But yeah, this is what the little bag looks like. Quite cute. It says Dior on it, which is bougie. And then we have the main attraction. Um, so this was £30, um, which is a lot for a lip gloss. I will admit it's a lot for a lip gloss. Um, somewhat regretting spending that much, but I've not tried it on yet, so it could be really, really good, and I hope it's really good. Um, it is my birthday next week, so I was like, ooh, let's do a little, little treat for my birthday. So this, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, is it gonna focus? It's because it's, like, shiny. I don't think it wants to focus. 
So that is what the packaging does look like. Um, it's a lip maximizer. Can I do this? Will it focus then? It just doesn't. It just doesn't want to focus. But anyway, it's a lip maximizer. One zero three pure gold. Um, so it is a plumping one. I personally don't like plumping lip glosses really because obviously they they have a certain feel to them. They're tingly, and I just I don't I don't really want my lips to like look bigger personally on me. I, I like I don't know. Um, but personally, I don't really like it that much. So I tend to avoid them unless it's something like this where it's only in this one. So uh, are you kidding? Like look at that. Um, is that the right way up? There we go. I'm doing that YouTuber thing. So my hands are really, really dry at the moment. It's winter, so please forgive that they look a bit crusty. It's because it's winter, so please, please allow it. There you go. Look at that. Can you can you see the sparkle? Why is it not focusing? Focus on the lip gloss, not on my arm. This is what it looks like. Ooh, she's pretty. Um, it's got like the same kind of lid as the um, lip oil. I did do a full video on the lip oil. If you want to check that out, that'd be really cool. And it also came with this which is like an instruction thing um, on how to use it. Um, let me find the English. That's not English. Secrets of use. Use alone or as a compliment to your makeup to optimize shine under gloss or over your usual lipstick. Begin application at the center of the lips and sweep outward to the corners of the mouth. Wipe the, ap wipe the applicator clean after each use. Oh, I don't really want to do that. That's a bit like weird that you have to wipe after each. Well, I guess if you're putting like if you, I think you'd do that if you had another lipstick on underneath. I'm just going to do it just on my like bare lips, but if you had another one, that's quite a good idea, actually. Um, caution. External use on non-irritated lips only. Avoid contact with the eyes. In case of irritation other than a tingling sensation or localised heat, link to the product discontinue use. So they're just going to say that just because it is a plumping lip gloss, so it does have stuff that it makes it tingle. Um, but yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. She is nice. Do we like her? Yes, we do. She's, she's cute. Okay. Now I'm worried. I'm like, oh my gosh. What okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm just going to put it on bare lips. So I'm not going to like wipe the applicator after use because there's not going to be anything on my lips to go back in. Should I wipe it? Now I'm like, should I? No, I'm not going to do it. You know what? I wouldn't do it with any others, but this was £30. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We'll find out what happens, I guess. Doing an experiment for you. Nice. Okay. Um, I feel like I should, I should have got a mirror. Um, do we have a mirror? I don't have a mirror. We're just gonna use the we're just gonna use the camera, which is quite risky. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I don't like that. My makeup's not looking the best today either. Please forgive me for that as well. Oh my gosh, it, she's looking crusty. It's fine. It's fine. It's winter. You can look crusty in winter. It's it's socially acceptable. Okay, that's what they have clear. Oh my god. Hello. Please focus. Looks like it's dancing. This is what the that's that's just me. Focus on the applicator. That is the applicator. It looks like, oh, there we go. Yeah, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Can you see it? I think you can see it. That's what the applicator looks like. It's just kind of like a basic one. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm also looking in like the camera next to it to see like how this looks, to see if it looks good. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's, that's gold. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so much pressure. Each swipe's probably worth like five pence. Okay. Okay. She's quite cute. I didn't want to admit it because it's 30 quid, but it is nice. Oh my gosh. So yes, I am going to make a tingling sensation. Um, You'll be able to see. I don't know if it will change like before and after particularly, but that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. This is very zoomed in. I'm very sorry. Oh well, yeah. Please focus. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's shiny. This is not the angle. I'm like, do I have any stuff in there? Let's hope. I'll admit, she is nice. I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to admit it to myself. I didn't want to admit it to you guys if you're watching this, but it's good. Is it worth 30 quid? Probably not. I think 30 pounds is a lot. I think you are paying for the name, obviously, because it's Dior. Um, maybe 20? And that's still quite a lot for a lip gloss. So clearly it's quite good if I, like, would happily spend 20 often on this. Um, thankfully it's mainly, like, a Christmassy kind of, like... One. But to be honest, I would wear it all year round. I do quite like doing like casual kind of glam like this, like glittery lips. I think that looks good. Um, I've not tried it obviously with like a lipstick underneath because I'm kind of worried about like mixing them up. I don't want to like mess this up in any way because again, it was 30. Do you think I spent 30 pounds on this? I've mentioned it a few times, but I'm still in shock that I, I did. <laughs> but I do think, oh, it's nice. Like, yeah, 
Is it worth 30 quid? Mm, no, but it's still quite good. It's like, it's, 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 it's still quite good. It's a very nice treat, I think. I think it's nice, especially for the Christmas season. Um, it is limited edition, I do believe, um, and it's somewhat difficult to get. Um, again, I managed to get it online on the Dior website, free delivery, it's not too bad, um, but I couldn't get any discount codes, and I love a discount. There's nothing I love more, even if it's only like 5%, I just love a cheeky discount online. It, it just excites me. But yeah, I do think, do we like it? Do we? I think I think I like it. I think it's really nice. Uh, again, I am feeling the tingly kind of cooling sensation, but it's not like painful. If you get what I mean, like I feel like sometimes when people do like plumping lip glosses, I tend not to use them, but like people seem to be in pain. Whereas this isn't really like painful. It's kind of like when you put like a Carmex on, like it's kind of that level. Like it just feels kind of cool, like tingly cool. It doesn't really feel like, ah, you know, it, it's not it's not a painful one. It, it's quite nice, to be honest. It's quite a nice feeling. Um, to be honest, this does seem like it could last like a little bit. Probably not like, because it is a gloss, like not while I'm eating food. But like, it's not like, it doesn't feel like really slippy, if that makes sense. Like, like that doesn't feel slippy. And also when you're doing this, it doesn't feel like grains. Because I know sometimes when you get like glittery product, it can feel kind of grainy, which you don't really want on your lips because it can feel like it's exfoliating them throughout the day, which you might not want. But you can't really feel that with this, which is um, very nice because I don't like that feeling. Um, what else? Does it have a scent? I'm always very like, because um, I've said this like in every makeup video I've done, I'm very sensitive to um, scents in makeup products, both especially when on my lips, because like it doesn't really irritate my lips necessarily, but my nose does not like it if I don't like the scent on my lips because I can smell it too much. Or if it's on my face, it could irritate it because I have sensitive skin. Okay. Does it have a scent? Nah, it's got like a very very small scent but nothing like unpleasant and not really like that noticeable so I don't mind that. Same for the lip oil, the Dior one has like no scent which is fantastic um, because I, I hate I hate scented things. I just, I just don't like them. I think we should normalise makeup products not being scented. Um, they can taste good, like if it's lip gloss, like make it taste good, sure, but only like nice good, not like, like minty. I like minty things. I don't like strawberry flavoured stuff. I like strawberries but strawberry flavoured stuff no but this is just nice so yeah i think i think i like her we'll zoom back in i think oh look at her she's so shiny it's a nice mix of like shiny because of the lip gloss but also like sparkly because of the glitter i just think oh i do i do like it i will admit i, I didn't think i would i thought i was gonna be disappointed but i'm actually quite happy with this um i don't feel like i've I don't regret it i definitely was starting to get by his remorse like when i bought it and it came i was like oh no this was this was a bad purchase. I saw like two TikToks on this and I've just spent 30 quid on it. But now I'm like, you know what? This is quite nice. Um, so yeah, it's quite good. I would personally recommend it. Um, there's probably cheaper options out there. Like um, I've not seen any dupes, but I imagine there will be dupes. But if you know any dupes for this, let me know in the comments because I'd be more than happy to check it out. Um, I love glittery stuff i love glitter so um yeah thank you so much for watching this video it means the absolute world to me if you're new here make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every time i post um i do lots of other other videos from travel to mental health to taylor swift to other like makeup ones i've done one on the dior lip oil as well as like a clarins versus dior lip oil video if you want to check them out i'll put them in the description below but yeah hope you like this um thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to comment them and i will do my best to answer them because i know like when you're spending like a lot of money on a purchase it's kind of like uh, you know um you kind of want to do all your research beforehand like when you're spending a lot of money on like one makeup item so i'm more than happy to give people my opinions before you buy it but yeah thank you so much for watching and again make sure to like and subscribe that'd be really cool um have a great day